Welcome back to the Journey to the Firelands. All right. Okay, got everything together here, so let's bust out. And let's see. Nothing nasty about, so we'll block this off. Find west, which is that away, and proceed onward to the Farlands. All right. Well, here we are, the morning of the presumably, allegedly ominous morning of Friday the 13th of January. <laughs> yes, it's Friday the 13th. Isn't that wonderful? Ah, uh, well... It's just another day to me. I used to joke with people and say that uh, my luckiest day was Friday the 13th. Just to mess with people. Because so many people sincerely seem to believe that Friday the 13th is a bad day. It isn't. But it is, however, a decent movie series. In any event... Before I uh, ramble onward and forget about the details, the size of the world this morning is 3,179.83 megabytes. Very good. We are progressing. And uh, let's see, this is the 252nd Minecraft day since I left spawn. And the 85th episode. Yeah, cool. We're continuing onward here. Uh, let's see, raising money for Child's Play Charity. An organization that gets toys and books and games into the hands of kids in hospitals around the world. Take the edge off of those nasty long hospital stays and scary procedures and even scarier illnesses and medical situations of various descriptions yeah and uh, to that end progress report there is that uh, there's been a, there is another donation and uh, we now stand at, let's see, let me look at that. It's, okay, the old chip-in widget, 62.62, and add that to the uh, number reported on the child's play widget right now, is 116.5 for a total of 179.12 which is 2.82% of the goal. It's slow progress, but it's progress, and that's the name of the game. And with that in mind, a $3 donation, that's cool. Uh, we only need 2,055 more $3 donations, and we will arrive at that goal. And that will be awesome, because that will mean another moment of F3-ness. And that will be exceedingly cool. All right, let's just beat the rush and use another boat. And so, that's what's going on there. And uh, as to the uh, interim world size goal of 4,000 megabytes. Since we're at 3179.83, there is only 820.17 megabytes to go until reaching that goal. And at the rate of approximately 37.4 megabytes of world size increase per three-day episode, there is approximately 20 22 episodes to go before reaching that goal, or 21 episodes after this one. Not bad. So we're getting there, and this thing is clearly in sight and becoming gradually more and more in sight. And that's my insight into that. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know. That was lame, but I did it anyway. <laughs> so, we have a pretty good day. Yesterday and the day before was awesome. The temperatures went up very nicely. Got up into the 60s and 70s both days. This is really awesome for January, and not to mention extremely unusual, very unseasonable, and also very welcome. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see if I can get through these squid without breaking my boat. Yeah, there we go. Uh, although, as welcome as the warm weather is, the party's over. Because the current temperature is about 36 degrees. It has finally dropped. I, I knew it would, you know, because... 60 and 70 degree weather in January in these parts is not common. So, yeah, that party is over for now. And I don't expect it to repeat. It could, but I don't expect it. And uh, so we're going back to the super cold and the land of air moving outside being cold enough to bite and so on but it's been very welcome to have some warm weather for a change a chance to relax a chance to get caught up on sleep i have been very much taking advantage of the much easier and more restful sleep that is attained when one actually is not freezing and shivering while trying to sleep. Shut up, zombie. Well, anyway, let's see here. Uh, hmm. Well, let's see what else has been going on. Well, I, I've been doing a little bit of... Uh, housekeeping on the hard drive, and I have a lot yet to go, because uh, my main hard drive, the one that actually has all my stuff on it, is, uh, it, it's a two terabyte drive, which Windows sees as a 1.81 terabyte, because of some BS housekeeping it does, or whatever, I don't know. It seems like an awful lot to waste, but whatever. And uh, that thing was down below 370 mega gigabytes, excuse me. Yeah. And while 370 gigabytes sounds like a lot, and in really it is quite a bit, I have noticed in the past any time my hard drive gets down that low in space that uh, I start noticing performance issues with Windows in general and almost anything in particular that is going to be writing to it a lot. And so when I see it start getting down like that, then that is when it's long overdue time to go on a quest to delete stuff because there's always tons and tons of stuff that you don't need anymore there's no reason to keep it it's outdated and whatnot and uh, so I'm going through the system looking for things that I don't need to, what Hey, you. Hello. I'll take the arrows at least. How about if I get away from there before any more spawn? Yeah. Uh... 
Uh, let's see. Okay, it's this time. And, uh, well, deleting, like, for example, old videos that I don't need to keep anymore. This video gets big fast, no matter what it is. And, uh, now normally I do make it a habit of, once I have rendered a video, I do go ahead and delete the source files. Because those things can get to be... 40 and 50 gigabytes for a half an hour's worth of video, and yeah, that's that's a lot. <laughs> that adds up fast. And so I delete those as soon as I've rendered the video that they're for. Well, I, I actually not that soon, but as soon as I'm con confirmed that the video is up and works and so on. And there is no need to re-render it or anything like that. As soon as I've confirmed that, then I go back in and I delete the source files. Because if I didn't, I would have to have, probably by now, a pile of hard drives to hold it all. And since hard drives generally, well, the last time I looked, seemed to run about $120 or so, that ain't happening. Oh, hey, look at here. <laughs> okay. Screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. The floaty tree of floatiness. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I haven't seen, I don't think I've ever seen one quite like that. A single column of, what is that, three blocks of dirt and a tree on it. <laughs> Just floating there. Beautiful. Thank you, Minecraft Beta Terrain Generation. I love that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, yes, that may very well be the thumbnail. <laughs> The floaty tree of floatiness. Okay. Anyway. So I, I've been archiving some things, taking some things, uh, like my vlogs. The, the videos that go up on the vlog channel. And by the way, that includes these videos. I burn those onto DVDs. Onto data DVDs and uh, put them in jewel cases and set them on a shelf to keep them. Yes, I know they're already on YouTube, but if I needed to get them again, I could get them from that. Uh, it's just a thing that I have always done with the vlog videos. Uh, I keep those. No particular reason, I just do. And probably always will. I mean, I've got a huge stack of DVDs. That I have burned from my vlogs going way back. I thought I heard somebody. No, nothing out there. I guess it was just my ears playing games with me. Because I could have sworn I heard something walking. But, anyway, and no, it was not he who shall not be named. Absolutely not. That does not exist. People who know how have examined the Minecraft source code, and there is nothing in it that would do that. Nothing. Anyway, onward. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the uh, backup thing, uh, well, the archiving thing. I had, I discovered upon looking that I had all of the vlog channel videos 
for the entire year of 2016 they were all still on the hard drive in the archives directory waiting to be archived to DVD now when I started doing that burning them to DVD I made it a practice of what I'd do is I'd put them into a directory called archives and uh, in subdirectories organized by month and within those subdirectories organized by date and uh, what I would do is check on the size of that archives folder every now and then and every time it approached a point of being just under four gigabytes which is the uh, space available on a single layer DVD that I would get out a new disk and burn that stuff to disk and after I confirmed that the disk works I would delete the stuff off the hard drive and free up the space and apparently I didn't do that at all in 2016 how's that for a mess nice plan really would have worked if I'd have actually implemented it and used it and actually done it but there you go so I got that stuff off of there and amazingly that only freed up about in the neighborhood of 25 gigabytes of course that's probably because in 2016 most of my videos on this channel that would be included in that group of stuff were of the uh, ordinary two to ten minute vlog type things which are not necessarily super duper huge and uh, yeah so that would be why because they come in at uh, anywhere from 500 to 8 or 900 megabytes and that's it because they're only a, you know they're just a few minutes long it's no big deal there's not a whole lot to them and now of course that uh, I've got Journey to the Farlands going again and I seem to be being reasonably regular about it for the most part I am having a lot more of these 30 minute gigabyte plus files on this channel and uh, that's going to mean archiving uh, old stuff is going to be more and more important as time goes on of course I have other archives that need to be dealt with too like for example I have got approximately 30 gigabytes of Kerbal Space Program related stuff I have a copy of every version of the game that has been since I since I got it in, in version 0.16 I've got a, ver a copy of every release since then every major release I think there's a few point releases that I missed but that's okay I've got the main ones all of them and of course quite a number of game saves and on top of that for many versions I have full collections of mods and so what I'm going to be doing over the next few days is organizing all of that by KSP version get it all organized according to what version it's for and then start breaking those into collections of about just you know like 3.9 or so 3.8 3.9 gigabytes and then burning them onto DVD and the stuff that 
I don't need currently can be deleted from the hard drive and free up a total of nearly 30 gigabytes. That's a lot. And I've got a huge amount, an obscene amount of Minecraft stuff. You know, I, I've got old FTB instances that I haven't used in literally years that I should consider getting rid of and stuff like that. And some old Minecraft mod collections that I am thinking that I need to get rid of. Whoa! Oh man, look at this. Okay, how about I wait and look at it in the morning? No, not there. Yeah. Oh, that looks awesome. Yeah, got to see that in a little bit better detail. Oh, man. What would you call this? If you had to name this place, what would you name it? Let me know in the comments. I would love to see what people would name this place. This is huge humongous and awesome. Wow. Let's get up here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Whoa, boy. Holy crap. Whew. Well, I'll tell you what. At the risk of being called a copycat. I dub the the Canyon of Awesome. <laughs> and that doesn't nearly say enough. But that is amazing. That is total amaze balls. Alright, let's get some wood and get down here and figure out how to proceed from here. Wow. All right. Oh, wow. This is one heck of a place. The Canyon of Awesome. Give me your wool. And where's your buddies? I want their wool too. recover the arrows that missed. And GTFO. <laughs> Before his buddies show up. Alright. That was an amazing place. And not often you see a site like that. Thank you, Minecraft Beta Terrain Generation. Oh, yeah. That was exceedingly cool. I mean, really 
epic mountain ranges. Can you imagine the uh, the, the sort of sprawling mega base that you could build in a place like that? Oh man, I can see getting a hundred episodes out of that if I was if I had a place like that in a single player LP. That was awesome. You could you could easily spend a hundred episodes building and decorating in a place like that. That was wow. Oh man. have not seen a site like that very often. And I didn't think to take screenshots, but I can lift a screen image out of the video. And all of a sudden, I have a feeling that that has been promoted to thumbnail image. And why am I swimming when I could be boating? Ugh. Because I was thinking about that place. That's why. And all of a sudden, yeah, it closed in. No more open ocean. Okay, no big. Not worried about that. This is one of the things I love about walking around in this old Beta 1.7.3 terrain generation because you get to see amazeballs places like that and amazeballs places like this yeah epic is the word make no mistake except no substitutes Etc., etc., etc. Epic is definitely the word for that kind of thing. You, shut up and get over here. Now, go away, get out of my face. Oh boy. Scenery like this, scenery like, like well, like this around here, like that canyon of amaze balls or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that uh, that makes the trip worth it all by itself. Just getting to find and see things like that, knowing no one else is ever going to see it. Well, except everybody who watches the video. But you know what I mean. Nobody else is ever going to go there. No one's ever going to find that location. Because, and no one else is ever going to go there. And even though I'm never going to see that again except in video or screenshots or whatever, uh, I know that there is going to be more awesome Amazeballs place, uh, places like that up ahead to be un unhidden by Minecraft terrain generation as we proceed. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, that was absolutely awesome. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I need to not lose sight of the fact that we're on day three. But oh man, that was amazing. Awesome. Super fantastic. And I, I honestly, seriously, if I had a single player world with that, you know, that exact terrain. In a single-player world, I can easily see spending a hundred or more episodes in it, in that area. Building and decorating and tweaking and this thing and that thing and so on. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's get over here. Oh, man. That was amazing. I'm sorry, I can't get over that. That was some of the most epic terrain I've seen on this journey, I think. I can't wait to see what the next thing is. <laughs> and if I wasn't so preoccupied with uh, moving on, 
I could very well have decided to spend a week or at least a day or two in that area just looking around but now that would have been a great place to find in uh, a, a live stream of F3 because I'm sure certain that in a place like that it would be possible to find a good place to build an F3 monument of some kind. Okay, speaking of monuments, let's build a monument to sleeping through the night at the end of the episode. And not a monument, and when I say monument, I say uh, big hole in the ground. One that needs a little bit of light, of course. Go. Shut up and go away. All right, there, there. Break that one. And here. Bed, workbench, and oh, one more boat. that okay collect the workbench and there you go all right I have to say thanks for watching thanks for donating to Child's Play charity and uh, oh yes of course you can go to tinfoilchef.com where you'll find a Child's Play charity .org donation widget every cent donated goes directly to Child's Play charity and so definitely Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.